We pick one cucumber and these are the little ones that get about four inches long. And uh, pretty soon we'll be up to our ears on them. Cantaloupe is really running. And the one down there on the end is setting fruit. And I got a bee working. There hasn't been a whole lot of bees. But there is my first cantaloupe. They grow pretty fast once they get to this stage. And I think that's three in that hill. This one in the middle, I don't know if it's just getting too dry and not getting enough water or something kind of blights on it. Some of the leaves are turning back. Might have just got a little too dry. I can see some of them curled. I'm going to try to hit it with some water tonight. But everything's going pretty good. A whole lot of cucumbers are four feet tall. They might even be, yeah, they're four foot fences. And the cannas are growing. Pretty soon it'll be like a fence down through here. I love cannas. These are red ones. And they do produce nice seeds to grow. These were grown from seed and planted last year, dug up and saved over the winter. I just did a cantaloupe video and I said it looked like it was getting weak or needing water. So I came over and watered it and it's about an hour and a half before dark. If you water your squash plants, watermelons, cantaloupes, especially cucumbers, you take that cucumber plant right there. If you water it really hard down at the bottom all the way to the top, the squash vine bores and all will come to the top to dry off and you can take something like Safer's insecticidal soap and kill them. So I sprayed this and I don't usually get these things on my cantaloupe but the squash on up enough of them to eat on and you can see one on that leaf. There's several of them in here and he'll just take a little bath and see one right there. Safer's insecticidal soap. See those two right there? They happen to be mating. We'd like to interrupt that. A little safer insecticidal soap. If you look down in the bottom, you can see them running around if they're down there. There's another one. But they uh, come up to get on top of the plant to dry out. Whoops, there's another one. And that's why this plant's leaves are looking like they are. They've been sucking on it. There's another one. Anyway, the war against the little enemies. There's another one. That's how you take care of them. I just sprayed these cucumbers. And see what's walking up the fence to come up here and dry out. And see what's on that leaf coming up here to dry out. All you got to do is wait a few minutes. And if they're on there, they'll come up to the top of the plant to get in the sunlight. That's all I see on these. If I see any more, I'll do another little video. There's another one. Insecticidal soap, we've been using it for years. It is great stuff. You'll also see it out there under the name of Neem. I think it's N-E-E-M. I can always call it Safer because Safer was the first one you used. This is put out by Schultz Insecticidal Soap. We buy it in the condensed form concentrate because uh, you save a ton of money if you buy it in a concentrate and mix your own. If you buy one, we bought one of these bottles and uh, then we just mix it in that bottle. If you buy it in this, if you have a little teeny garden, a bottle like this might serve purpose, but if you're spraying a whole big garden, you need to be able to mix it up and like an, an ounce of the concentrate makes a 32 ounces. So you can cut your cost down a whole lot on insecticidal soap by buying it in the concentrate. Don't see any more, it's still early in the season. Here's three more. Going back to the first plant. 
and there's a cucumber beetle. You want to kill every one of those you see. He come right here. See, there's another one. There's another one. Anytime you see those little teeny uh, yellow cucumber beetles, try to kill it even if you have to mash it with your fingers. They do a lot of damage.